Welcome back to the WHHI News. Joining me now via Zoom, Gloria Durier. Now, she is a member of the Women United Steering Committee, part of the United Way of the Low Country. Hi, Gloria. Thanks for joining us. Thank you. Thanks for having me. Okay. Now, um, what is this organization uh, and how long has it been in existence? Sure. I've actually had the privilege of serving with this committee since it began really about 11 plus years ago. And the true mission of the Women United group is to mobilize the caring uh, power of women together to advance the common good by really focusing on education across Beaufort and Jasper counties. Okay. Give us an idea of um, some of the initiatives that you all are involved with that really focus in doing what your mission says, providing, you know, support and power to women. What are some of those? Sure. So really, we do we do just that. We come together and we focus on education and how can we help put our students, young children, young students, up to adult students um, into the best position possible to succeed. Um, one of the main um, opportunities for that is our Breaking Barriers to Education Fund housed under United Way of the Low Country. Um, and it really helps to provide funding to fill those needs that's, that families have in order to um, continue their educational journeys, um, whether that's uh, kind of helping to pay rent um, so that students can stay in school, families can stay together, uh, putting tires on a car so you can get to and from school. Um, it's kind of that last resort funding source for our local families, and we hope that um, the fund continues to grow because the needs are certainly out there. Sure. Have you have you found that that need exists and have you been able to help a lot of people? Absolutely. So, you know, United Way certainly tries to put the families in contact with other partner agencies that can help fill particular needs, but maybe there's no agency out there to, to help. So that's where this fund really kicks in. And it is, like I said, kind of that last resort, but is a tremendous, tremendous um, benefit for our communities, for our families. What, what else do you deal with as far as students or, or education? Sure. So thinking of kind of our younger students, so those um, who are starting school, think think of probably elementary, middle, high school, um, we fill backpacks every year. So every fall, the summer leading up to every school year, um, we raise, kind of do a, a supply raiser, right? So we're raising um, funds and actual paper, notebooks, pencils, school uniforms is a huge thing, as you can imagine. Mm -hmm. um, and we do that through Operation Backpack. So I believe last year we filled more than, um, we provided supplies, backpacks, uniforms, everything for more than 1,200 students across Beaufort and Jasper counties. Um, and just the thought of starting a school year with those, those fresh new items, um, there's really no other way. So we're happy to, happy to play that role. And then the other piece we just, we kicked off not too long ago and are currently expanding, adding two more. So at the end of this year, we'll have six what we call Mimi's Closets. So I talked about the beginning of the school year and starting off um, you know, on the right foot. Those, you outgrow those uniforms. Those white shirts become less white as the months go on. Um, and so we wanna have supplies, uniforms, paper, kind of refillable items available to the students throughout the school year too. And, and is so that we what do Mimi, that through. Yeah. I'm sorry, excuse me. Is that what Mimi's Closet does then? Is it basically for, um, you know, refilling supplies or school uniforms? Do you, do you help adults with Mimi's Closet too? Or is that so right now? Right. Right now they're in our uh, schools for our younger students. Um, and, and it's really just that whether it's housed, um, they're usually an actual closet um, in the school and students know kind of where to go and teachers can help provide um, any kind of items that they may be missing um, to, to help them, you know, keep keep on that successful path of doing the best work that they can do. We are just about out of time quickly. How about the scholarship fund? Yes. So we are also raising dollars for those older students. And by older, I mean out of high school um, for the for women in our in Jasper and Beaufort counties who want to continue their education, who want to go back to school. We have funding available for that, too. So right now it's a thousand dollar scholarship. Um, and over the last, uh, we started in 2020. So since 2020, we've awarded 15 $1,000 scholarships. Um, and we hope that will continue to grow. Well, we want to thank you for your time and all the work you do. And uh, we're going to find out more from you in the future. And thank you so much. Sounds great. Thank you. We will be back in just a moment.